great Saturday evening. Hope you had a wonderful Saturday, November 9th. God is so worthy to be praised. Hope you enjoy the sunshine, the mild temperatures, the blessings of the Lord that he gives to each one of his children to enjoy. Yes, in 2 Chronicles 30, we are still talking about Hezekiah and he sent an invitation to a lot of folks. In verse one, it says that he sent to all Israel, come on to the house of the Lord at Jerusalem to keep the Passover unto the Lord God of Israel. Who are you inviting to church? Or who are you inviting to have a relationship with your father? Yeah, your heavenly father, right? Are you introducing them to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Are you introducing them to the source of your joy and contentment and peace and strength? I was at a home going celebration of my uh, cousin earlier today, memorial service. And afterwards, you know how family gets together and you talk to the, you know, older relatives. And there's this one, she's a cousin of mine, but maybe second or third, but she's much older than me. My mom's peer in her eighties. I shouldn't say it, but oh my goodness, her skin, so beautiful, like porcelain. And, you know, people were commenting how the Lord's preserving her and keeping her sharp. And I was, you know, just saying, yeah, it's the joy of the Lord. It, it is one of the benefits of serving the Lord. And of course, I gravitate toward the older women because I just love to listen to their stories and to just see how there is nothing new under the sun, that we all have gone through the same thing. It might just be different types of flavors and colors, but we all have dealt with life. And it says in Titus 2, what? Verse 3, the aged women, likewise, they be in holiness, right? They're the ones to teach the young women to be sober and they're the examples. So we are the examples and especially we are to invite People, if they've had a relationship with the Lord and they have backslidden, Second Chronicles 30 talks about how if we were stiff-necked, like perhaps maybe our ancestors were, it says in verse 8, as your fathers were, but yield yourselves unto the Lord. Oh my, in verse 9, the promise is, the Lord your God is gracious and merciful and will not turn away his face from you or if that, for that person that you have in your heart if they return unto him. Hallelujah. And that reminds me, uh, I had an opportunity to play the piano. One of my favorite songs, hymns, Great is Thy Faithfulness. And we know that is based from Lamentations, the third chapter. Verse 22, it is, it is of the Lord's mercies that we ourselves, yeah, that we're not consumed, that we still have breath because his compassions fail not. Yeah, we've messed up, but the Lord has given us another chance. They are brand new every single morning. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is our portion. He's our everything, saith my soul. Therefore, that's where we go again. Remember this morning where I was like, oh my goodness, there were so many home going services. We were going over Psalms 39, uh, four, how David was saying, Lord, make me to know my end and the measure of my days, how frail I am. And my days are as a hand breath and everything, you know, is vanity. It's, you know, we accumulate all this and then we don't know. It was like, oh my goodness. But it ended that our hope is in the Lord. And it says that in verse 24 of Lamentations 3, therefore I will hope in him because the Lord is good unto them that wait for him. That's why we hope for him because he is worthy to be praised and he's worthy to follow. And Hezekiah prayed for them, even though 
Some people were not honoring the Lord. And guess what? The good Lord pardoned everyone that prepareth his heart to seek God, the Lord God of his fathers. And the Lord hearkened to Hezekiah and healed the people. The Lord will heal those in your family as we pray to the Lord, as we're living for him. And because today is November 9th, we go to Proverbs 9. And all I have to say is verse 6. Those people who are still living uh, outside of the will of God, tell them, verse 6, chapter 9, Proverbs, forsake the foolish and live. This is true living, joyful living, peaceful living, the abundant life. And go in the way of understanding. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy is understanding. He will give us that wisdom. For by me, thy days shall be multiplied. If you want a long, lovely life and the years of thy life shall be increased. Amen. And the Lord knows when is the end. But in the meantime, we'll enjoy and glorify him. Have a wonderful evening in the Lord serving him. And get ready for worship. Good night.